This week, Catholic Charities is marking the 100th arrival of Afghan refugees to Green Bay. NBC 26's Jenna Bree sat down with a couple of our new neighbors. She shares their stories, but to protect them and their families, we will not be showing their faces. My father was crying, brothers were crying, mother was crying. And that's my last experience from my country. Tens of thousands of Afghans, like Abdullah, said goodbye to their families a few months ago. I fear that, God forbidden, if their identities are revealed and if somehow the regime finds that one of their members was working with the U.S. government in a very infamous unit, God forbidden they would be killed. Ali says coming to the U.S. was not easy. I had two decision to choose one, to stay with my family, friends, and keep my job, or to be survived. But both men say they had never imagined how welcomed they would feel in Green Bay. I want to do is to stay here for a long time because it's a good place. The people that they live here, they are so kind and that's what I like. It's not a matter of the place, it's all a matter of the people, how treating you. One of the biggest factors in that warm welcome, Saeed Wardak. When they see me, the first thing there's when they see like, oh God, thanks that you're here and you are working with them and uh, now our life will be easier. An Afghan who has lived in Wisconsin for six years, Wardak has taken on the role of interpreter for our new neighbors. I didn't get to see anybody from my country. I was very frustrated. I was even planning to move back to another state where there are other Afghans. But after meeting Saeed, he made me change my mind. Right now, Catholic Charities is trying to accommodate housing needs as more large families have arrived. With the Packer playoff coming back to town, we're going to have to move them out of their Airbnbs, out of their hotels, and we need to get them into more stable. We're just doing a plea to the community to help us identify um, housing for our largest families. Lumkey says they're in need of four three to five bedroom units between now and next Thursday. If you would like to help out, you can find more information on our website, NBC26.com. In Alloway, Jenna Bree, NBC26.